Hey there friends, thanks for checking in. Today we're going to do a little comparison with the Glock 43X versus the Glock 26. Now, when the 43X was introduced, people said, well, that carries 10 rounds. Why would anybody want a Glock 26? You know, it's, it's thinner and it offers a full three finger contact on the grip. Why would anybody want that anymore? But then you had the people who love the Glock 26, the Glock 27, some of the other double stack subcompact Glocks. And what are you guys talking about? This gun has way more to offer than that little single stack ever will. I'm not changing the thing, I'm sticking with this. And I have to say that both groups are right in their own way. And they are. The, each gun has its advantages and disadvantages when compared with the other. Let's take a look at the Glock 43X. Now, many people wanted Glock to come out with a single stack 9mm, probably three or four years ago. They, they wanted that. They said single stack 9mm is what we want. And then the Glock produced the 43. And they said, well, that's cool, but it doesn't have the magazine capacity. You know, you compare it to the Shield, it doesn't have the magazine capacity. So then what do we have? Aftermarket companies making mag extensions. Well, then what does Glock do? They put out a 43X with 10 round mags and people say, well, that's not good enough. I don't understand some people. It's like you, you can't make some people happy no matter what you do. But that is an advantage, but it's also a disadvantage to the Glock 43X because here we have a 10 round magazine and if you carry a spare which i highly recommend you could carry another 10 round magazine now that's 20 21 rounds total all right suitable most self-defense situations but in comparison though here we're looking at a 10 round magazine right and then here's an aftermarket magazine made by a men too all right Made for a Glock 19. So here I got 26 rounds. Or I got the 33 round mag. That is the advantage. Now people say, well, I'm not going to throw that in my pocket. Well, maybe not. And I don't blame you. I wouldn't. But you could keep one in the truck. You could keep one, uh, you know, in, in uh, inner pocket in a jacket. Throw it in there. And now I've got 33 rounds right there. You can't tell me that's not an advantage. That advantage is huge over the Glock 43X. But here's something else though. Look at how thin that is. That grip is thin. Okay, so how you like your women? Tall and thin or short and chunky? I mean, that, that's what we're looking at here. This is, you know, it's short, chunky. People call it block because it feels like a block. This doesn't. This actually feels pretty good. So you, you have a different feel there. Each person's mileage may vary let's take a look at this part you're looking at that much more length on the grip so that, there you're getting three finger contact here you're getting two maybe a little bit of that third finger with a flat base plate the barrel length are essentially the same both these guns are unloaded and the trigger is essentially the same neither of these have been modified all right, same Glock sights. But another concern people were, were wondering, you know, because the, the size is different, the capacity with the standard carry magazine is the same. What about the weight? So let's check that out right now because many people equate the weight of the gun to the recoil impulse. You know, the heavier the gun, the less recoil. Well, let's first understand that we're talking about nine millimeter. All right, you're not you're not dealing with much recoil with nine millimeter anyways, but but some people are a little sensitive to that. Sixteen and one quarter ounce, and over here we're looking at nineteen and three eighths ounces. So we're looking at a heavier gun here that has uh, most likely a, a better recoil impulse for the shooter, and then over here we have a taller, thinner gun that has a PVD coating, something I didn't mention yet. People have their opinions about it. I kind of like it. What I wanted to do was take this off and put it on here and then call it a Glock 26X, but people would have been, you know, you clickbait, dude, you're using clickbait, that's stupid. So I decided against that. But anyways, well, I couldn't do it anyways because it doesn't fit. But we're looking at the same gun, different configurations, barrel 
length difference is nominal okay essentially the same here we have the front serrations which is nice the pvd coating three finger contact so if i had to choose one it would be tough <laughs> it would be tough for my everyday carry to and from work you know so and i and i never put myself in a situation saying well if i go to a dangerous place i'm going to use the glock 26 because then i'll carry this i i hate that you have to be prepared in all situations but in this case i'm going to say my general everyday travel i think i'd be much more comfortable with the glock 43x having said that if i was out where some i may not or may know something uh I'm just going to stop right there. I'm going to take this. I've always said this was my favorite Glock, and I still don't think that has changed. And if you like videos like this, please subscribe and share. I always appreciate thumbs up button. Thanks for watching, and you guys be safe.